The Christmas Series Story 2 Joseph's Dream Taken from Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 through 25. This story probably takes place three to six months after the previous story. Soon after Jesus was conceived, Mary had left Nazareth to travel to the home of Zechariah and Elizabeth in Judea. Months before, God had sent Gabriel to announce the miraculous birth of John the Baptist to his father Zechariah, while he was ministering as a priest in the temple in Jerusalem. However, because Zechariah expressed disbelief in Gabriel's words, God took away his ability to speak until after John was born. Mary stayed with Zechariah and Elizabeth for about three months and then returned to Nazareth. As we learned in the previous story, Mary was engaged to Joseph, a direct descendant in the royal line of King David. The details of Joseph's lineage are recorded in Matthew and Luke's Gospel. Matthew traces Joseph's genealogy back to the patriarch Abraham and King David. Luke goes even further and traces the line all the way back to the first man, Adam, the son of God. Although Joseph is of royal blood, he is not a wealthy or powerful man. In fact, this son of David works as a common laborer, probably with wood and stone, in Nazareth, an obscure city in the region of Galilee. If Joseph's life was peaceful before, it is about to change, and his reputation as a righteous man severely tested. Even though Joseph and Mary were legally married, they did not yet live together as husband and wife. In fact, Joseph was probably busy building their home in preparation for that joyful event. Mary had left Nazareth to visit relatives in Judea for three months and then returned. Then the rumors started. Eventually the shocking truth was exposed. Mary was pregnant and Joseph knew he was not the father. What could have happened? Joseph was faced with some very difficult decisions. It may appear that God took quite a risk in not revealing the truth about Mary's pregnancy to Joseph in advance. So many prophecies depended upon Joseph's decision. Yet God chose to test this man who would play such a vital role in Jesus' life. There is much to discuss in this often overlooked story. Here is what happened. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ actually happened. Some time after Jesus' mother Mary was engaged to Joseph, but before their actual marriage, it was discovered that Mary was with child from the Holy Spirit. Now her husband Joseph was a just man who did not want to make a public example of her, so he decided to quietly divorce Mary. But while Joseph was still considering what he should do, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. For the child she carries was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Mary will give birth to a son, and you shall name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Now all of this happened so the word of the Lord spoken through Isaiah the prophet would be fulfilled. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and give birth to a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which when translated means God with us. When Joseph woke up, 
he did what the angel of the Lord told him. Joseph took Mary as his wife, but they did not come together as husband and wife until after she had given birth to her firstborn son. And Joseph gave him the name Jesus. The Christmas Series Story 2 Joseph's Dream Taken from Matthew chapter 1 verses 18 through 25. 